Suppose you have a population of plants like these eight plants from a selection line in my experiment. And suppose you would like to artificially select for fast growth or health in this population of plants. Then you can increase the average growth of plants in this population by breeding the next generation of plants from the largest plants on the right, while excluding from breeding the smaller plants at the left. Such artificial selection works because the largest plants are most likely to carry genetic material that promote large growth. Now, in my selection experiment here, all plants in this population are genetically identical. The variation is due to environmental factors, such as small uncontrolled differences in light level or soil moisture experienced by these plants, or perhaps due to associated microbiomes that may differ between these individual plants. While it is not possible to select on the non-living environmental factors such as light level or soil moisture, it is possible to select on the associated microbiomes, for example on the root associated microbiomes. To do this, I harvest root associated microbiomes from well-growing plants then transfer these harvested microbiomes to sterile soil planted with seeds of the next plant microbiome generation, like these six-day-old plants that are inoculated with harvested microbiomes at the time of seed germination. And the artificial selection is indirect because I never measure the microbiome properties directly. Instead, I only measure features of the host plant, like number of leaves or overall size, to identify those plants that are most likely to associate with microbiomes that promote growth, which here would be the largest plants. In essence, after ranking my plants by size, I harvest the root-associated microbiomes from the largest plants, filter these microbiomes to exclude fungal pathogens, then transfer these filters microbiomes to plants of the next plant microbiome generation.